future with this Fox News at Night exclusive. Andrew. We're told the video was made at school for the student body, but remarks about so called ghetto people and the new president are causing an uproar. His first motion was to paint the White House black. This comment about President Barack Obama is in made by a Churchill High School student in what seems to be a satirical news show made by students in a technology class. On a serious note, it aired throughout campus this morning on WCTV and is the first of a few remarks many believe to be racially charged. Hug a ghetto person foundation. This fake PSA encourages kids to quote, hug a ghetto person and gives reasons why they should. These people sell iPods at a very discounted price. So please, go out there and hug a ghetto person. Because they need love just as much as you do. Cool. My thoughts on that, I can't say on camera. Some students, including Isaiah Pascal, say this apparent attempt at humor is way out of line and seems to poke fun specifically at blacks. Not get at all. So I'm thinking, like, why put, me, uh, put people like me in a category like that? Why my friends were offended by it? Other students were not offended by the video, but understand why their classmates have a problem with it. I don't think they were meant to be, like, that much racist. I think they're just going for, like, being funny. Northeast ISD spokeswoman Laura Calderon says this is no laughing matter. Churchill has been designated as a no place for hate school six years in a row. We want people to know, in no uncertain terms, that this is not behavior that we condone. She says right after the segment aired, the principal apologized to the entire school over the intercom and sent this letter for parents home with all the students. Before school was out, Calderon says the boys behind this video made another tape for their classmates. They're apologizing to all of, of Churchill. But that might not be enough. The district is investigating the matter. We're told the two boys on the tape and their teacher, who allegedly didn't screen the video, could face disciplinary actions. There is some cleanup that has to be done here, and we're going to do it. This senior tells us he hopes the incident doesn't cast a shadow on his school. We're a very good school. We have a really good education. Just, you know, they made one tiny mistake, and I think we can learn from it. District leaders tell us they hope to have their video investigation wrapped up by Tuesday. We'll keep you up to date. Uh,